time, my little bucks and does. Many seasons ago, when this warren of ours on Watership Down didn't exist. Oh, yes. Not a single rabbit lived up here. Hard to imagine, isn't it? You were all born here, where the grass and the sky join hands, and where rabbits can live in peace and happiness. Frith has been good to us, and our warren has prospered. But more than once it was touch and go whether we'd ever succeed. There are still a few of us left who were among the first to come to Watership Down. And I want to tell you why we came, and about the many hardships we had to overcome before we were finally safe and sound. So, this is the story of Watership Down. Your story, my little bucks and does. And it all starts one day, many seasons ago. Watership Down by Richard Adams. Dramatized for radio by Neville Teller. With music by Chris Leslie. The Chief Rabbit will see you now. And remember to speak up, the both of you. There's nothing the three or I hates more than mumblers. Well, come closer. Come closer. <laughs> Walnut, isn't it? Um, my name is Hazel, Chief Rabbit. Uh, Hazel, <laughs> of course, yes, yes. I, I knew your mother very well oh. at one time. Yes. <laughs> yes. Hello, uh, <clears throat> good of you to uh, <clears throat> come and see me. And uh, your friend? My brother, Chief Rabbit, Fiverr. Fiverr? Strange name. Why is he called that? Oh, there were five in the litter, Threra. He was the last and the smallest. <laughs> Not too well developed even now, is he? Eh? <laughs> Are you, eh? <laughs> what? Well, not muscle-wise, Threora, perhaps, but you should see him at work in the psychic area. There's no one to beat him. The psychic area? How do you mean? He's got the second sight, Threora. He can see things that are hidden from the rest of us. He's never wrong. He knew the flood was coming last autumn. He told us about it weeks ahead. When Fiverr says something's about to happen, it happens. Hmm. That could be useful. And that's why we've come to see you now. Fiverr knows something. What do you know, eh? Go on, Fiverr. Well, I can't hear a word. For Frith's sake, say what you've got to say. Oh, Chief Rabbit. Some terrible thing is coming closer and closer. Thing? Well, what, what sort of thing? I mean, how do you know? I had a dream. You know the field across the brook? The field where the great white borders appeared with the black marks all over it? Well, I dreamt I was in that field and the grass was covered with dead bodies. I tried to escape, but the field was heaving and shuddering. The earth was breaking apart and I couldn't get away. There's danger here. All around us, and it's very close. I can feel it. Yes, I see what you mean, Walnut. Very impressive. And uh, what, young... Um, um... Fiverr, sir. Yes, yes, Fiverr. Well, what do you suggest I do about it? Oh, we must get away. Three or us, sir. We must all get away before it's too late. We must leave the warren. Ah, well, let's just um, think about that, shall we? It's uh, May, good weather, no illness. All the rabbits are enjoying themselves. And you want me to tell the warren that we must all pack up and go traipsing across country to goodness knows where, and all because you've had a dream? <laughs> well, what do you think they'll say? They take it from you, Threyra. Well, perhaps they would, but uh, well, I'd have to consider it very carefully. Very carefully indeed. Threyra, Threyra, there's no time. I can feel the danger like, like a wire around my neck. Like a, a wire. A wire. Ah. <coughs> I'm awfully sorry, Chief Rabbit. He gets like this sometimes. He'll be all right in a minute. Yes, yeah, poor fellow. Uh, <coughs> take him along home and uh, let him rest. Uh, good of you to come and see me, Walnut. Hazel, sir. Goodbye, sir. And thank you. Come along, Fiver. You'll soon be yourself again, old fellow. Officer Bigwig. Sir? A word in your floppy. 
Are you, or are you not, a commissioned officer in my Ausler? I certainly am, sir. Perhaps you'd care to remind me of the main duties of the Ausler? To guard and protect the Threyara, sir. Precisely. To guard and protect me. And I count idiots, seers and prophets of doom among those I need protection from. But I, I saw those two, two charlatans at your specific request, Officer Bigwig. You brought them here. You woke me up at knee frith to listen to a load of unmitigated rubbish. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir. A bad error of judgment, Bigwig. I warn you, one more mistake like that and you're out. Out of the Ausler and out of this warren do I make myself crystal clear. Quite clear, sir. However, Threyara, I've no wish to spend the rest of my life worrying if I've offended you enough to be kicked out of the Ausler. So, with all due respect, I think I'll take my own decision and resign my commission. Hello? No, 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 come, come, big wig. Don't be hasty. I mean, think, think it over. Well, I may have been a bit um, harsh, but I, I certainly wouldn't like to lose you. No, sir. My mind's made up. And all on our account, big wig. What do you say to that, everybody? You're very brave. Oh, sentry duty in the burrow never was my idea of a jolly life, Hazel. Nor letters stealing for the Ausler. No one will be stealing lettuces soon. Oh, hello, Fiber. Just the fellow I wanted to talk to. What you said to the Chief Rabbit. Did you mean it? I only wish I didn't. Then you'll be leaving the Warren? Oh, yes. Fiver and I are going tonight. I don't know exactly where to, but we'll take anyone who wants to come with us. Well, you can take me for a start. I've no future here. Glad to have you, Bigwig. Anyone else? I think I'll come. Good old Blackberry. We'll need a bit of common sense on the way. Well, there are too many bucks by half in this warren, and you have to be in the Ausler to have much fun. I could do with a change. Listen, everyone. If we believe Fiverr, no rabbits at all ought to stay here. So between now and when we go, we ought to persuade as many as possible to come with us. I'll sound out one or two in the Ausler. I'm sure my friend Pipkin will come with us. Fine. Let's all do our best, and we'll meet back here at Fuinley. Fuinley? But why wait for the moon to rise? Because before Fuinley, Captain Holly and the rest of the Ausler are still on patrol. But we must go tonight. The danger, whatever it is, is coming closer all the time. Do you know Fiverr and Pipkin? Hello. Now, look, Hazel, we haven't much time. I just persuaded Hawkmate here to join us when I found that that Toad Flax fellow had followed me down the run. Oh. He was terribly suspicious. He'll be reporting to Captain Holly by now, and the Ausler will be after us if we don't get a move on. Do let's start. We must wait for Blackberry. No, look, there he is. And he's got three others with him. Good old Blackberry. Hello, you fellows. I brought three friends of mine. This is Buckthorn, and these two lads are Speedwell and Acorn. Glad to have you all. Now can we get going? Not yet. I've got to wait for Bigwig. If we wait much longer, we're going to regret it. Just a few minutes. No, even less. That's him at the end of the ditch with... Oh, what's his name? Hello, Hazel. Sorry I'm a bit late. You all know Silver, don't you? Some of the younger fellows in the Ausler have been giving him a rough time, teasing him about his fur and all that. Silver, of course. Hello. Hello. Oh, my goodness. Danger! Watch out! Oh! Oh, Hazel, they've come to arrest us all. Oh, Officer Bigwig. You know me perfectly well, Holly. Captain Holly. And I know you. What do you want? You're under arrest. Arrest? What for? Incitement to mutiny. Silver, you two, for failing to report for duty this evening. You're both to come with me. Come with you? Never. On to them, lads. Oh, 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 with me, lads. Oh, 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 hold it. Back. Right. Now, you better go, Holly, if you know what's good for you. You realise what this means, don't you? I'm Captain of Ausler. I advise you to leave. Otherwise, you'll be killed. You're the ones who'll be killed. Believe me, you don't know what you've let yourselves in for. They'll be back very soon, Hazel. Holly's only gone to turn out the Ausler. Yes. Now the time really has come. Gather round, everyone. Let's see who's here. Fiver, you brought Pipkin. Dandelion, you brought Hawkbit. Uh -huh. I came with Buckthorn, Speedwell, uh, and Acorn. That's right, Blackberry. Then you arrived, Bigwit, with Silver. Uh -huh. Well, 
That's much more than four. That's her rare. <laughs> right. We must get a long way from here. We'll go down to the stream, and then we'll follow the bank as far as we can. Bigwig, you take the lead. What do you think we ought to do now, Fiverr? Well, we've, we've got to cross the water, but honestly, I don't think I'll be able to manage it, Hazel. I'm worn out. Pipkin's even worse than I am. Cross the water? Whatever for? We must. We just must. Please believe me. We'd all better stay here till Nefrith. That'll give everyone a chance to rest. Then perhaps we can all swim across. Uh, Bigwig, why don't you swim over now and have a look around? You could find the best way for us to go once we're on the other side. There's some sense in that, Blackberry. Yeah. Yes. Always ready to oblige. Here goes. Oh, well done, Bigwig. Keep going. He's made it. Oh, oh Bigwig. Oh, yes, so well, I'm glad he's with us. Good grief, he's, he's coming back already. What is it, Bigwig? What's the matter? A dog. There's a dog loose in the woods behind you. Listen, I saw him from the other bank. If he picks up our scent, we're done for. We've all got to cross the water. Come on! Well, you better get a move on then. And anyone else who wants to, I'll stay with Fiverr and Pipkin till they're fit to tackle it. Hazel, I found something. Look. What is it? A piece of flat wood. It's over there. It must have drifted down the river. That means it floats. That means we could put Fiverr and Pipkin on it and make it float again. It might go across to the other bank. I see. Quick, Hazel, don't hang about. Bring Pipkin. Come on, everyone. Right. On you go, Pipkin. Go on, Pipkin. Go on. Get on it. Now you, Fiverr. Right. Uh, who's strong? Uh, Silver, help me push. That's it. <laughs> Nearly there. Oh, look further. Yes, ah, that's it. Right. Oh. Oh. See you on the other side. They're sitting on the water. They're sitting on the wood. And the wood floats, don't you see? They're nearly over. <laughs> now we swim across ourselves. Uh, can we start, Hazel? Swim. Everybody swim. Everybody, we're too strung out. Close up. Hazel, come up here. You got something to tell me, Fiver? To show you. There, right on the horizon. You can see it clearly in the moonlight. That's the place for us, Hazel. High, lonely hills where the ground's as dry as straw in a barn. That's where we ought to be. That's where we have to get to. No. No, altogether too far. Think of the miles of danger. Everyone's frightened and tired as it is. What we need is a safe place soon. There's a, there's a thick mist between the hills and us. There isn't it as clear as can be. A thick mist. I can't see through it. But through it we shall have to go. Oh, Hazel, we're in for some mysterious trouble. It feels like being deceived and losing our way. But we must go on until we reach the hills. This is more like it. Yeah, this is the life. Plenty of sun, plenty of food, no danger. <laughs> Yet. Oh, fibre. It's not my fault, it's just the. I sense trouble. Well, you can relax for the moment. Bigwig and Blackberry will soon be back from their recce. They'll tell us if there's any danger. Meanwhile, everything's fine. Though I have an idea it's going to rain before too long. Mm. Uh, in that case, we'd better make one or two scrapes, don't you think? Something to give us a little shelter. Come on. Oh, we're not going to do any serious digging, are we? I mean, that sort of thing's all right for does. Hello but, there! Um... Oh. Oh. Bigwig. <laughs> Hello, Hazel. Well, Bigwig, any signs of a lil? Not an enemy in sight. <laughs> Hold on, Blackberry. There are man tracks. Recent? Yes. Scents fresh. 
and they're the ends of those little white sticks that they burn in their mouths. But that's all for the best, I reckon. The men frighten the Alil away. Why do the men come, do you suppose? Who knows why men do anything? But what does it matter? I'd rather dodge a man than a stoat or a fox. Yeah, mm. I agree. Well, we were just going to make some scrapes along the bank there. We'd better start. The rain won't be long now. Just a minute. Hazel, who's that rabbit? No, over there. Just sitting, staring. Oh, yes. Pigwig, do you recognise him? It's not from the old Warren. I wonder what he wants. I'm going over to talk to him. Blackbury, you come with me. Come on. I'm coming, Hazel. Be careful. He may not be the only one. He's a fine-looking fellow, isn't he? I don't think he's dangerous. I'll go up to him first, if you like. Oh, you'll both go. Hello? My name's Hazel. This is Blackberry. Do you live here? Yes. We saw you arrive. We mean to live here, too. Why not? We thought you would. You're all very welcome. If you're returning to the others, I'll come over with you and speak to them. That is, unless you have any objection. Who's this, Hazel? Why has he come back with you? I don't know. He said he wanted to. Well, who are you? What do you want? My name's Cowslip, and I don't want anything. We know how to defend ourselves, don't we? Yes. I'm sure you do. But how will you defend yourselves against the weather? There's going to be rain, and you haven't any scrapes as yet. Are there many other rabbits here? Can we trust you? Why should we want to hurt you? There's plenty of food, and we've got lots of empty burrows in our warren. If you want to come across, you'll be welcome. And now, if you'll excuse me, I won't stay any longer. I hate the rain. See that wood over there? Our warren's on the far side. Goodbye! Fine big fellow, isn't he? And he's right about the rain. We're going to be pretty uncomfortable. What do you think, Blackberry? Well, the only way to find out whether he's to be trusted is to try. Mm -hmm. But all the same, I can't see what they stand to gain by asking us to join their warren. Nor me. But I'm not afraid to go and find out. Yeah, nor am I. What do you say, Fiverr? I say we have nothing to do with that rabbit or his warren. I say we leave this place at once. Oh, Fiverr, not again. All right, Dandelion, I've said what I think. Now I'll shut up. How long have rabbits been a lil for Fritz's sake? Mm. That's what I feel. All right, we'll go over. Mm. Come on, everybody. Right. Follow me. Oh, Hazel, what is this place? I don't know. It's the largest burrow I've ever been in. Or me. How on earth have they dug out such a huge space? We're under trees. Their roots must be supporting the roof. You're right, Blackberry. I wonder how many rabbits they can get in here. Is that you, Hazel? Welcome to our warren. You and your friends. We're glad you've come. <laughs> we're, we're glad to be out of the rain, Cowslip. I suggest that each of you spends the night as the guest of one of our families. That'll make you feel at home. Then, tomorrow, perhaps you'll find your own burrows. Well, thank you very much. Hello. You're Hazel, aren't you? Yes. I'm Strawberry. This is my doe, Mildred Hain. You stay with us, Hazel. We'd like that. Wouldn't we, love? I'm glad to, Strawberry. That's very nice. Ah. Well, our burrow isn't very far away. Follow me. Then is Cowslip your chief rabbit? We don't call anyone chief rabbit. Oh, who, who decides what to do about Elil? We rabbits are never without enemies. Oh, we are, here. Elil, keep away from us. Mm -hmm. The man who comes through the fields shoots them. He kills owls, too. No Elil and better food than anywhere. Your mm. friends will be happy here. Many of our burrows are empty, you know. Oh, mm. we have... The... Uh, so some of the best are quite close. I'll show you tomorrow in case your friends want to move in. Well, thank you very much, but <laughs> where have all the... And, and the great burrows are a splendid place, don't you think? Uh, there can't be many warrens where all the rabbits can meet together underground. Oh, that's wonderful. I've never seen anything <laughs> like it. But where are the previous... I, uh, I expect you're hungry. 
It's going to go on raining all night, I'm sure, but we don't have to souffle in the wet. We can eat underground here, you know. Can we? Hmm. How? Oh, we keep stocks of fresh food down here. Come on, Nil. Bring out the goodies. A word, if you please. What is it? What do you make of all this? Is it just me, or is there something odd about this place? Well, there aren't enough of them to fill the warren, that's for sure. Mm. Perhaps they've had some trouble they don't like talking about. They don't want to answer questions, do they? Mm. Flayra! Flayra! Oh, hello, Hazel. Uh, Blackberry, isn't it? Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> Alerting everyone. The man's gone and the flare old to lie about. If we don't get it, the rats come and... Ooh, I don't like fighting rats. <laughs> Go on up, you two. I'll, I'll just fetch Nildro Hay. Flare up! Flare up! What's all this about flare up, Bigwig? Haven't they told you? Apparently, a man throws lettuce and carrots and all sorts of good things into the field almost every day. And there it is. Come on, everybody. Eat up and we'll carry back enough for tonight. I'll teach you how to carry food, Hazel. It's not difficult. Fiver? Fiver, old fellow. What's the matter? You're missing the flavour. It's delicious. When we've finished, we're all going to learn how to carry food back to the warren. I'll have nothing to do with it. Oh, why? Just look at the rabbits down there, trotting along like a lot of squirrels with nuts. How can that be right, I ask you? And do you suppose that the man, whoever he is, puts the roots out because he has a kind heart? What's he up to? Well, he's throwing away rubbish, I expect. It's not poison, Fiver. I can vouch for that. And if he'd wanted to shoot rabbits, there were plenty of chances this morning. Hazel, a dear old Hazel. I know there's something evil twisted all round this place. I don't know what it is, but it's there. And I'm close to finding out. I can feel how close I am. There you are. I saw you slip away, Hazel. What's the matter? Fiver believes there's something really wrong with this place. He senses evil all around us. Well, I've looked around thoroughly. There really aren't any ill ill here. Hello. This is a bit odd, though. What's that, Bigwig? Looks as though there's been a fight here. Showers of leaves all over the place. Clots of earth. And this hole. What's this? No! Quick, quick! It's a snare! Bigwig, old fellow! Bigwig. You're in a snare! What did they tell you in the Owlsler? Come on, think! How can we help you? No good biting wire! Peg! Got to think oh. out! I'll get help. Run, Fiver! Run! Get the others! Be quick! Be quick or you'll die! Thank Frith you're all here. Blackberry, can you help? Big Week said dig out the peg, but what does that mean? Oh, wait a moment. Let me think. Where's Cowslip? Perhaps he knows. He wouldn't come. Wouldn't come, but Blackberry... I've got it. The wire's on a peg. And the peg's in the ground. Mm -hmm. There! Look! We've got to dig it out. Oh. Come on, everybody. Dig beside it. Oh, yeah. Quick. Oh. Now, now, Pipkin, you go down. You're the smallest. You've got to gnaw through the peg, right near the bottom where it's narrow. Go on. He's done it. Oh. Oh. Big wig, old chap. The peg's out. I can't feel his breathing. What on earth will we do without him? Oh, that cowslip. Yes, Blackberry. What was that you were telling me? Oh, cowslip and strawberry and the others refused to help. That's true. As we were running out, I said to cowslip, surely you're coming, and he simply turned his back. I'll kill him! Oh, oh, big wig! Big wig! Oh, friend, you're not dead! <laughs> not by a long shot. Oh, oh, help me, someone! Can anyone get this stinking wire off me? Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh, that cowslip. 
I'll tear him limb from limb. <sighs> They're all cowards, sir. They left Bigwig to die. Let's drive them out of the Warren. Yeah. Let's take the Warren for yeah. ourselves. Yeah. Come on! Yeah. 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 Do it now. Yeah. Yeah. You fools! You want to take over their Warren? That Warren's nothing but a death trap. What can you mean? I'll tell you, Silver, because I see it all now. Once this Warren was full of rabbits. Then one day the farmer thought, why should I bother to keep rabbits in hutches? I'll make the Warren part of my farm. Oh. So he began to shoot or Elil, ferrets, stoats, owls. He put out food. The rabbits grew big and strong and healthy. And then he started to snare them. Not too many, so as to scare them away. Oh. Just as many as he wanted. Yes, of course. Oh, the rabbits knew well enough what was happening, but even to themselves they pretended that all was well. For the food was good, they were protected. They had nothing to fear but the one fear. They had no chief rabbit. How could they? A chief rabbit must guard his warren from death. But they had one strict rule. The strictest. Anyone who asked where must be silenced. At last it all makes sense. And you say kill them and help ourselves to their warren. All we'd be helping ourselves to is misery and death. Yes. You're right, Fiverr. You were right all the time. Tell us what to do. We must go, now, at once. But where? To the hills. That's where we'll go. Hazel, there's a rabbit coming down from the warren. Look. Only one. Pity. You take him, Silver. No, uh, no, it's Strawberry. What is it? What's happened? Hazel, are you going away? What's that to you? Oh, take me with you. Please. You? Coward? Cheat? Uh, why don't you go back to Nildrohane? Mildred, the, the wires, it's all over. She's stopped running. Oh, poor fellow. It's all right, Strawberry. Of course, you can come with us. <laughs> right, everybody, on our way. Yes, Hazel, I do mean right up to the top. But look how high it is. You can't even see the top. It'll be all open and cold. That's where we must go. Well, before everyone goes up there, I'm going myself to have a look around. Not alone, you're not. All right. Dandelion and Silver, you come with me. Right. Everyone else, stay here and feed till we come back. We'll be as quick as we can. Right, you two, let's be on our way. Come and look, Hazel. You can see the whole world from up here. Hold on. It's a bit of a climb. Oh, Frith, what a view. This really is like heaven. Frith must have made it for us. He may have made it, but Fiverr thought of it. I say, where's Silver? Silver? Perhaps he's gone down. Well, we can't go looking for him. The others are waiting and they may be in danger. We must go down and get them. Perhaps we'll find Silver on the way. Come on. Are you going to bring the others up tonight? I don't know. It's a problem. There's no shelter. <laughs> oh, watch out, Hazel. It's a bit steep here. Hello, you two. Silver, where in the world have you been? We've been looking for you. Sorry, Hazel. I saw these holes and uh, stopped to explore a little. Have you been down them? Uh, two or three. A bit rough, but there's no smell of death or disease, and they're quite empty. Oh, Frith scent. Wonderful. Dandelion, get the rest of them up here. Right. We've found our shelter. Good morning, Hazel. Hello, Gregory. Oh, marvellous place up here. Just as safe as Fiverr said it would be. Nothing can get near us without our knowing. Hmm. And uh, ready-made burrows. Burrows, Blackberry. Holes. <laughs> they don't amount to much, but I suppose you can't expect a group of buck rabbits to dig. Ah, I was just thinking about that. You say buck rabbits won't dig, but they could if they wanted to. Just imagine what it'd be like if we had deep, Comfortable burrows to sleep in. What do you mean? We turn these holes into a regular warren? No, these holes won't do. Only a little way down, and you come to this hard white stuff that no one can dig. But 
Over there, do you see? There's a wood. Yes. Well, the roots of all those trees must have broken up the ground. That's where we could dig, if we wanted. Mm. Why don't you get the others and have a look? Then you could ask them. Well, I for one agree with Blackberry. We ought to try digging. Digging? Like those? Like sensible buck rabbits. I'm with Big Wig. All right, I'll try. Good for you, Silver. Why not? After all, it's only to make ourselves more comfortable. And we have no does to do it anyway. Mm. We haven't, have we? Come on, everybody. Let's get started. Just a minute. There's something I want to ask you all. That terrible warren of cowslips, there was just one thing about it that I liked. <laughs> the Great Hall. Exactly, ah. Fiverr. I, I think it's a wonderful idea to have a place where everybody can be together, talk, tell stories, you know. I'd love to copy it. Oh, Dandelion's a great one for telling stories. You should hear it. <laughs> oh, <there is. laughs> well, let's hope we all will, before long. What's that? A cat. Oh, that's a bird. Wounded. It's the black rabbit of Inlay. It's death. All oh, dead. Oh, oh, big wing. <gasps> big wing. He's calling me. When the black rabbit calls you, you have to go. Stay where you are. Whatever sort of rabbit it is, I'm going to see for myself. I'm coming with you. All right, Dandelion, the rest of you stay here. Who's there? Is that Bigwig? No, it, it isn't Bigwig. Who are you? Oh, don't you recognise him, Hazel? It's Captain Holly. <laughs> You've certainly been through the wars, Holly, haven't you? I must talk to Bigwig. Oh, you're not in a fit state to talk to anyone. Just look at that ear of yours. It's torn to ribbons. No, no, we will help you back to our shelter. You can have a good night's sleep. Before I ask Captain Holly to speak to us, I want to say what a marvellous job you've all made of digging out this great burrow. <laughs> you have. Who'd have thought that a band of buck rabbits had it in them? <laughs> this hall may have a few more tree roots than cowslips, but it's a wonderful place for us to meet together. Yes. It was your idea, Hazel. Yes. Yes. Well, as you can see, Captain Holly's journey from our old warren hasn't been easy. He wants to tell us all about it, and why he left. Holly? Well, to be honest, more than once I didn't think I'd make it. But um, let me start at the beginning. The night you all left the Warren, the Asler was turned out to look for you. That seems an awfully long time ago. <laughs> yes, to me too. Anyway, when we told the Chief Rabbit that you seemed to have set off downstream, he said there was no point risking lives by following you, so I called off the search. The next afternoon, it began to rain. Most of the others were underground, but I was on the edge of the wood. And that's when I saw some men come through the gate. Out by that board thing. I know. The white board with the big black mark. Yes, that's right. Well, the men began walking slowly about in the rain. And they all had spades. And whenever they came to a rabbit hole, they blocked it up. Ah, that's odd. With ferrets, they want to drive the rabbits out so they can shoot them. Yes, well, I thought they'd leave a few holes open because any rabbit that went up a blocked run would be killed underground by the ferret. Oh, Captain Holly. And, and the man wouldn't get his ferret back very easily either. Don't make it too grim, Holly. Oh, grim? I haven't started yet. When most of the rabbit holes were blocked, one of the men fetched some... Um, look, oh, I haven't got words for all these men things, but they were like lengths of bramble. The men pushed them into the holes. There was a kind of hissing noise. And, well, the air began to turn bad. I got a whiff of this stuff and it, I couldn't see or think. My, my head went round and round. And all the time, the poisoned air must have been spreading through the runs and burrows underground. Can you imagine? Well, the men had done their work badly, though. They'd left some holes in the field unblocked. Rabbits came staggering out of them and they shot most of them. Oh. Well, I, I don't think the men knew about the holes that led up into the wood. So how did you get away? Ah, well, before I could, a great frududu rolled into the field from the lane. Very, very noisy. And in front, it had huge 
paws. And this thing, well, how can I tell you, it, it tore the field to bits. Oh. Captain, we all know you've seen some terrible things, but surely that's not what you mean. Oh, on my word. It, it buried itself in the ground and pushed great masses of earth and roots and grass and bushes in front of it until the field was destroyed, utterly destroyed. Oh. It's what I dreamt, it's what I dreamt. Well, for some reason, all I could think of was you, Bigwig. I remembered how I'd gone to arrest you. To kill me? You yes, mean? that's right. And I felt I had to find you and tell you I'd been wrong. So I set off to find you. I, I went on and on until I was so exhausted that I fell asleep in a ditch. When I woke up, I was surrounded by great big fellows. One of them said his name was Cowslip. Ah. We know him. Who are you? What are you doing? I, I'm looking for some rabbits from my warren. Uh, have you seen them? Uh, one of them's called Bigwig. And there's Hazel and uh, Silver. I knew it. And... Tear him to pieces. Oh, no, hey, get off me! One of them got me by the ear and ripped it up. I was pouring with blood, but they didn't know much about fighting, and I managed to get away. I'm ashamed of them. Strawberry here joined us from that war. Ah, well, anyway, I, I was running down the fields when I saw that this cowslip was chasing me. I let him catch me up, and then I suddenly turned and went for him. I had him down. I was just going to rip him up. Stop! Stop! I can tell you where your friends have gone. Well? T to the hills. The high hills you can see over there. They went yesterday morning. My ear was terribly painful, but I, I pressed on. My one thought was to find you, Bigwig, and to tell you that you'd been right to leave the Warren. <laughs> now I feel I'm among friends. <laughs> Bigwig, the rabbit who tried to arrest you, that wasn't me. That was another rabbit, long, long ago. Somehow it can't fly. Ah! <laughs> you come kill? Think me finish? <laughs> me not finish. But you done plenty. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. You must be starving. Be quick. Go and get some worms or something. There's a good fellow. Worms? Me dig for worms? Well, beetles then. I know. Wood lice. Oh, oh. I'll bet these rotten branches are just what he needs. Here you are. Try these. Mm. Good and juicy. Worms. Well, yeah. yuck. Ah! Oh, worms is good and <laughs> juicy. Must be the first time any rabbit's ever done this. Uh, look, you're hurt. What are you going to do? No hurt. Plenty fight. Uh, stay small time, then go. But I if you stay where you are, you're finished. We help you, maybe? Ah! Look, rabbits don't eat birds. Rabbits eat grass. We'll help you. Give you big hole. Foo to his uh, long way. Legs, fine, wing, no good. It's not far. Then uh, then come. <laughs> the bird now, Bigwig? Much better. He's very strong, you know. But what sort of bird is he? I've never seen one like him. Well, he says he comes from a long way from here, where the earth ends. No earth? What is there then? Water. Water that moves all the time and keeps breaking against the earth. When he can't hear that, he misses it. 
That's his name. Kihar. It's the noise the water makes. Kihar? Hmm. It's a nice name. But why is he here? He shouldn't be. He should have been off to this big water place a long time ago to breed. But some cat jumped on him in a farmyard. Ah, bad luck for him. Perhaps good luck for us. Gather round, everybody. I mean, everybody. You too, Holly. Come on, hop it. Come on, gather round. Now, I've been thinking. We're doing well here, but unless we can find an answer to what's bothering me, this warren's as good as finished. Finished? Oh, what on earth are you talking about? Listen, Bigwig, it's quite simple. We have no does, not one. And no does means no kittens. And in a short time, no warren. Does? Yeah. Mm. Doesn't the old warren seem an awfully long time ago? Mm. So, what's to be done? Set out again? I hope not, Blackberry. What I'd like is to get hold of some does and bring them here. But where from? Well, another warren. But how would you find another warren? Hmm? There certainly aren't any up here. Hmm. I'll tell you. The bird. Kiha will go and search for us. Oh, what a marvellous yeah. idea. Yeah. But can we persuade him to do it, Hazel Ra? Hmm. Surely when he's better, he'll simply fly away. Well, you seem to get on with him, don't you, Bigweave? Or mm. well, perhaps you can explain how much this means to us. After all, we only want him to fly over the downs and let us know what he sees. You leave him to me. I think I know just how to do it. Ah! Good day, Mr. Hazel. You come visit, Kiha. That's right. How are you doing? Oh, being fine now. Today, I fly. Oh, thank goodness. I'm glad. <laughs> that uh, the Mr. Pigvig, he good fella. Yes, he is. <clears throat> he say, you know, getting mothers, mm. plenty trouble for you. That's true, and we don't know what to do. Uh. No mothers anywhere. Hey, <laughs> listen, I got big fine plan. Today, when I fly, I fly for you. Oh. Find plenty mothers. Oh, what a wonderful idea, Kiha. <laughs> and how clever of you to think of it. Oh. Eh, for me, is finished models this year. Mm. It's too late. All models sitting on nests now. <laughs> Not a time I get model, eh? <laughs> now, I fly for you. I fly all over. I find where rabbits live. I find models for you. You trust, Kia! find rabbits in two places. <laughs> Down in bottom of hill is farm with trees all around, you know? No, we don't know it. Go on. Yeah, I'll show you. It's not far. And here is rabbits. Rabbits live with men in box, in shed. Men bring food, you know? I know this happens. Yeah, I think is mothers in oh. box. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> After farm, I fly. I fly. No rabbits for a long, long way. I go flying, flying, and I come to river, you know? Uh, no, no we, we haven't been there. Yeah, yeah, East River. And here is town of rabbits. Very big. Uh, on the other side of the river. No, 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 no. Town of rabbits, then Iron Road, then river. An Iron Road? Uh, yeah, yeah. Iron Road. You not see him? Men make him. But rabbits town before, in big, lonely fields. Plenty. Plenty mothers! <laughs> yeah. And how long would it take to go from here to the uh, rabbit's town? Oh, I think uh, maybe two days is a long way. Kiha, keep his word, no? Mm. I find you rabbits. Mm. <laughs> no, belly empty. Now I go. I find me beetles. <laughs> <laughs> he said this town of rabbits was very big. His big warrens are often overcrowded. Well, if there are those there who aren't very happy, we stand a chance of persuading some to come back and live here with us. So are we agreed? We send an expedition to this warren? Yep. Peter Robert, you mustn't go yourself. You're needed here. Agreed, everyone? Yes. All right. And I, I, I'm not the right fellow anyway. Holly, hmm? it's up to you to lead the group. You're Owsler trained. Well, I'm game, but I want one of my old Owsler officers with me. Take Silver. I need Bigwig here. Hey. You're all right with you, Silver? I should say. Oh, well. And you, Buckthorn. And Strawberry. 
You've really proved yourself since you've joined us. Yeah. Well, I suggest you all set off first thing tomorrow morning. But tonight, tonight, I propose that we all gather together in our new great hall and that Dandelion tells us a story. <laughs> When Frith made the world, he shone down bright all day, and he made the stars by scattering his droppings over the sky. This is why the grass and the trees grow so thick on the world. Then Frith made all the animals and birds, and at that time, they were all alike. Now, Elleray Ra, Prince of the Rabbits, was among the animals in those days, and he had so many wives that there was no counting them. And the wives had so many young that even Frith couldn't count them. And Elleray Ra was father of them all. Then Frith said to Elleray Ra, Prince Rabbit, if you can't control your people, I'll find ways to control them. So mark what I say. But Elleray Ra wouldn't listen. So Frith gave out that he would hold a meeting with each animal and bird at which he'd give them a present to make each one different from the rest. Mm-hmm. Now, all this time, Elleray Ra was dancing and mating and boasting that he was going to Frith's meeting to receive a great gift. As he started on his way, over the hill came flying the dark swift, screaming, news, news, what news, called Elleray Ra. Frith has given the fox and the stoat and the weasel cunning hearts and sharp teeth to kill and devour all that belongs to you. Then Elleray Ra knew that Frith was too clever for him and he was frightened. He thought Frith was coming after him and turned to the face of the hill and began to dig, but he dug only a little way when Frith came over the hill and saw Elleray Ra's bottom sticking out of the hole. He called out, My friend, have you seen Elleray Ra? For I'm looking for him to give him my gift. No, answered Elleray Ra without coming up. Mm. He's far away. He couldn't come. Then come out of that hole and I'll bless you instead of him. No, I'm busy. If you want to bless me, you can bless my bottom. (laughs) Then Frith felt great friendship for Elleray Ra because of his resourcefulness. And he said, very well, I will. Bottom? Be strength and warning and speed forever and save the life of your master, be it so. As he spoke, Elleray Ra's tail grew shining white and flashed like a star. And his back legs grew long and powerful. And he thumped the hillside until the very beetles fell off the grass stems. And Elleray Ra knew then that Frith was his friend. So, every evening, when Frith has done his day's work and lies calm and easy in the red sky, Elleray Ra and his children come out of their holes and feed and play in his sight, for they're his friends, and he has promised them that they can never be destroyed. Dandelion? (laughs) Who's there? There. Shh. It's only me, Dandelion. Hazora. What do you want? I'd like you to come down the hill and help me find the farm Kihar talked about. I've got a secret plan. Are you coming? Yes, Hazora. This is the place, this shed. Look, the door's open. Come on. What? Inside this shed? Is it safe? Safe or not, it's where I'm going. Oh, dear. There's only one way out of this place. You'll have to stay here by the door, Dandelion, and keep a watch for cats and things, or we may be trapped. If you see anything, tell me at once. Right. Be careful. Hello. You in there? Who's there? Who's speaking? It's me. My name's Hazel Ra. Where are you? Out here. For Frith's sake, here. Oh, I see you. Where did you spring from? I've come all the way from the hills with my friend Dandelion. That's him over there. 
What's he doing there? Looking out for cats and dogs and things. Just as well. We've got some really vicious ones on this farm. We're lucky to be safe in this hutch. What's your name? Haystack. And how many of you are there? Two. Over here, Clover. Hazel Ra, this is my friend, Clover. Hello. We don't see many strangers here. Do you ever come out of that hutch? Sometimes. The girl child takes us out and puts us on the grass. There's a wire door at the back. Is there? And do you know how to open it? Clover does, don't you, Clover? It's not very difficult. When the shed door's shut, we sometimes come out for a bit. Not often, because of that cat. We're so safe in here, you see. But don't you ever dream of a better life? Freedom, the open air, sleeping underground? Of course we do. But what chance do we have of that sort of existence? Where's your Warren? A long way away. Look, I'll be quite honest with you. We have no does at all in our Warren. What, none? No, and we really need some. No does, no kittens. That's why we came here. We want you to run away from the farm and join us. Run away? Oh, dear. There's plenty of food and space for everyone. Just imagine, up there, right on top of the downs. The air's so clear you can see for miles. And the peace. No cats, no dogs. When we go out to Silfley in the early morning and at sunset, all you can hear are the wind and the birds. No men ever come to disturb us, nor are there any other allele. It sounds like a sort of paradise, Hazel Ra. It is, believe me. So what do you say? Will you come with us? Oh, but think of the journey. The danger. No, Haystack, don't. Think of getting away from this prison. Think of life on the outside. What do you say? Oh, dear. I'm not a very brave rabbit. Here we're so cosy and safe. We get our food every day. The girl child loves us. What sort of a life is that for a doe? Hey, stop, listen. Mm. Suddenly, out of the blue, Frith has offered us a chance for the sort of life we were meant for. Oh, yes, it's a bit of a gamble. But how many opportunities does a rabbit get in one lifetime? You must grab your moment when it comes. You must... Otherwise, you'll spend the rest of your life shut up in this hutch, regretting the day you didn't have the guts to seize the chance of freedom that Frith sent you. Oh, Clover, when you put it like that, then you'll come. Well, I'm certainly not staying here without you. Wonderful. Now, Clover, this is your moment to show how easily you can slip that catch. Nothing to it. Watch. The man leaves it very well oiled. How'd you come, then? Let me help you, Haystack. Oh, Thank you. Think of Right. Now, we must move fast. We have to cross the farmyard, go under the gate and make it over the lane. Then we're in the grassland. Any sign of trouble, Dandelion? All quiet, but um, it's a bit dark out here. But do you see that kennel? Yes. Well, there's a dog asleep in there. He's tied up. But I hope the sound of four rabbits crossing the yard doesn't wake him. We must hope so. All right, everybody. As quiet as you can. Please, everybody, don't be frightened. He's tied up. He can't harm us. No, 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 I, I couldn't go past him. I couldn't. No, don't ask me. You must taste Tuck. You must. We can't go back now. Come on, I'll go first. He won't hurt, as you'll see. He's on a rope. Just follow me. All right, Clover, if you say so. Go on. I'm just behind you. And you said you weren't brave. That's what I call real courage. Come on, everybody. Over there! Look! Lucy's rabbit is out! Let's get in, quick! Leave lights on! Run! Run, I say! I can't move! The eyes of the Rudu do! They won't let me! This thing! Stand still! There they be! Dang me, there's two wildens as well! Shut your eyes, everybody! Shut your eyes! Now run! Run! Oh, there we are! Not that wild one! There he goes! Shoot him, Billy! I'll go after the others! Shoot him! See those trees, Haystack? Mm -hmm. That's where our warren is. Oh. oh, look. Fiverr's coming out to meet us. Hello, Fiverr. Oh, thank Frith, you're safe, Dandelion. We were all worried sick when we found you and Hazel were missing. But where is... Fiverr, there's bad news. Hazel... I know. Now I know. 
What do you mean? Well, as you came through the grass just now, there was a fourth rabbit behind you, limping and covered with blood. I ran out to see who it was, and there were only three of you. Yes, me and Haystack, mm -hmm. Clover. Men came after us. And they shot Hazel. They shot Hazel. But they didn't kill him. What do you mean? Believe me, Hazel's not dead. I saw him with you. Oh, yes, there's blood and he's wounded, but he's not dead. He's lying out there somewhere. Come on, we must tell the others and get a rescue party together. Hazel needs us. In episode one of Watership Down by Richard Adams, Hazel was played by Simon Chandler, Fiverr by Tom George, Bigwig by Stephen Tomlin, Kehar by Christian Rodska, and Blackberry by Ian Brooker. Robert Lister was Holly and the Chief Rabbit, Peter Meekin, Dandelion, Sean Connolly, Silver, and Colin Rote, Cowslip. Haystack was played by Susan Jeffrey and Clover by Alison Belbin. The music was arranged and played by Chris Leslie. Watership Down was dramatised for radio by Neville Teller and directed in Birmingham by Peter Leslie Wilde.